Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is LJ and you're watching No Clutch Garage. If you've been around for a while, then you've probably seen videos that I've done in regards to tuning. There is a video in particular that I did on MHD. And at the time, MHD for the platform wasn't fully developed. Now there is a lot more things that you can do with MHD. But one of the interesting things that were in development at that time was the MHD Wi-Fi adapter. This is significant because MHD previously only used cables. Cables can be cumbersome, and the downside is actually that it had really slow read and write speeds. But with the Wi-Fi adapter, all of that is sped up. So what I have right here is the MHD Wi-Fi adapter for the F chassis, and we're gonna take a look at it. The device itself is actually pretty small. It comes in a very small box. Putting it right here next to the lever, it kind of gives you an idea of just how small it is. And then we pop it open. And it's just this little tiny box. It has the SSID and your password in the back. The password is actually the same for all of them. Uh, the SSID is the only thing that varies. And then you have an ethernet port at the bottom and that's pretty much it. And then you just connect this to the OBD and you're good to go. So one of the cool things about this device is that it doesn't only work with MHD. Clearly this was designed with MHD in mind, but it also works with XHP and it also works with XDelete. If you have any of those other systems, you can actually use this one device to tune your transmission, your differentials, and your engine. So today I'm going to show you some quick examples of just how fast this thing is when it comes to writing MHD maps. And I'm also going to touch up briefly on XHP and on XDelete because it really is amazing how well this thing works and how fast it is. All right guys, so obviously you just connect this into the OBD. Like that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and look for that OBD. So you go on your network settings and then go to Wi-Fi. And if you see right here, I got the MHD, mine's 552D. Log in, go ahead and connect. All right, now we're connected. So we're gonna go ahead and go to MHD. So apparently there was an update, that's okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and flash my backend flash. So usually this would take about two minutes to complete. Um, you know, obviously once you have everything that you want right here, um, you go ahead and do the right. And now with this adapter, it should take only a few seconds. All right, so look at how fast that flashes. Software. So that's pretty quick. And keep in mind, this is like a $50 phone. It's not even, you know, like a Samsung or anything like that. So it's gonna go through this process. The flash itself takes seconds. And then um, the thing that takes a little bit longer is it clears all the codes and then it turns off the car for you. So the car turns off and it says right here, you have to wait 30 seconds. And the right time was eight seconds. That is the difference between using the adapter and using a cable because cable usually takes about a minute plus this whole process to turn off the car. So now we're going to try flashing XHP because it's actually a lot quicker than using a cable also. XHP is a little bit different because it's web-based but we're going to go ahead and look at it and see how different it is. So now we have XHP we're going to go ahead and connect. We obviously have the 8-speed transmission so we're going to go ahead and click that. So now we're connected to the car. I'm going to go ahead and just reflash stage three and we're gonna hit flash 1.7 which is the latest and it tells you right here you're about to flash procedure should take around two minutes so let's keep that in mind so now it's preparing just look at how fast that is that's definitely gonna be way shorter than two minutes So just like that, the transmission flash is done. 
and that only took a few seconds it didn't take all that long i think it takes the phone longer to process any of this than it actually takes to write so the car is doing all its warnings it's gonna finalize and of course for xhp you just turn off the car and turn it right back on and you're done so guys i just wanted to show you the difference between using a cable and an adapter i don't have the cable anymore i actually gave it away to a friend that needed it uh he's an e90 guy and uh he was needing to flash a tune onto his car so i gave it away i don't have anything to compare by but i will tell you just based on my use it is definitely quicker i mean you can go back to my flash videos where i flashed xhp and where i flashed mhd and you will see a considerably longer time that it took to flash those tunes onto this car as i mentioned before this can also be used to flash x delete but i will make a separate video of that because i'm actually going to make an instructional on how to get x delete on your vehicle for x drive vehicles anyways guys that has been it for this video pick up one of these they also have a version for the e90s and it works just as good so pick one of these up if you have mhd or if you have xhp it's super convenient and i think uh it's definitely an investment they're only about 70 or 80 bucks uh, i got mine from twisted tuning but you can pretty much find them there or burgertuning.com and just pick one of them up so guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you like what you saw, go ahead and give it a like, go ahead and subscribe. And before I go, I wanna remind you guys that everything that I do on any of my videos, I have the links for anything that I use in the description down below, including stuff that I have used in previous videos and stuff that comprises my build or parts of my build. If you guys need anything, just let me know and I'll be sure to hit you back with a link. Guys, if you don't already follow me on social media, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And it's all going to be the same, at No Clutch Garage. Instagram is my go-to social media platform. So most of the stuff that I ever talk about or that I will ever post will be on Instagram. So if you guys need to reach me, go ahead and send me a DM on Instagram. If I don't reply right away, I'm sorry. I'm just like you guys. I'm busy. I have a life but I promise I will get back to you at some point. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next video.